ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamumunuhan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Editorial. Today is Wednesday, January 12, 2022. I am Carlos Miguel Kanahashi and together with me is Sir Mark Betita for Technicals. And we're broadcasting simultaneously on Intro Radio, on and on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. Before we get to our commercials, as part of our introduction, uh, let's have our welcoming remarks, Sir Mark Betita. Sir Mark, your mic, please. Hi, Bob. Uh, magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Uh, ako po si Mr. Mark Betita. Ang yung technical support. Uh, Sana po, uh, wag po sana tayong maging pasaway. Keep safe po lagi sa ating lahat. At, at pag lumalabas po, wear your face mask lagi. Yun po, maraming po salamat. Thank you po. You're welcome. Okay. We will begin our topic in just a moment. And we will be back after our commercials. Now this.
Okay. Okay. So, welcome back to our editorial episode for this day. So, this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, we will discuss this topic for today, which is about baptism of the Lord. We will show our PowerPoint. When Sir Mark shares the screen in just a moment or so. So before we get to our topic, what is the baptism of the Lord? What is it all about? What is the essence of the event? Why is Jesus baptized? Where did John baptize? Why did Jesus submit to John's baptism? And what does baptism mean for us? So without further ado, here now is our topic for this afternoon, which is the baptism of the Lord. Next slide, please. Okay, in the liturgical calendar, the feast of the baptism of the Lord signifies the end of the Christmas season. The baptism of the Lord is notable because it marks the beginning of the ministry of Jesus Christ and to confirm his identity as the Son of God. This event is documented in all the Gospels except for John. So that's why we celebrate the baptism of the Lord. It's because, ladies and gentlemen, it is also known as Theophany, which is a feast day in the commemoration of the baptism of Jesus Christ in the Jordan River by St. John the Baptist. Ladies and gentlemen, next slide, please. So what is the essence of the event? Well, first of all, this is a feast day that commemorates the baptism of Jesus Christ in the Jordan River by St. John the Baptist. Originally, the baptism of Christ was celebrated on Epiphany, which commemorates the coming of the Magi, the baptism of Christ, and the wedding at Cana. So, he is celebrated in the Catholic Church as well as the Anglican and Lutheran churches on the first Sunday following the Epiphany of the Lord on January 6, which this signals the end of the Christmas season. Ladies and gentlemen, next slide, please. My question is, why is Jesus baptized? Well, first of all, when Jesus came to John, John hesitates to baptize him. John's baptism of repentance, and Jesus has nothing for which he needs to repent. Why then does Jesus insist on being baptized? By choosing to be baptized, 
Jesus fulfills all righteousness, preparing himself to be a perfect sacrifice for us. So according to this Bible verse, ladies and gentlemen, on Matthew chapter 3, verse 13 to 15, it states there, Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and yet you are coming to me? Jesus said to him in reply, Allow it now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. So the reason why Jesus Christ was baptized in the Jordan River is because Jesus is the Son of God. So he was sinless and there was no need for him to receive forgiveness. John tried to refuse to baptize Jesus, saying that it was he, John, who should be baptized by Jesus. Christians believe Jesus was baptized so that he could become like one of us. So the reasons why Jesus Christ was baptized is because he identified himself with sinners. To be identified by John, to be introduced to the crowd as the Messiah, to fulfill all the righteousness that symbolizes his death and resurrection, to show that he was already to start his work, and to acknowledge the work of his forerunner, John the Baptist. Ladies and gentlemen. So in Amen's turn, ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ was baptized. It's because at first glance, it seems that Jesus' baptism has no purpose at all. John's baptism was the baptism of repentance, but Jesus was sinless and has no need of repentance. Even John was taken aback at Jesus' mm -hmm. coming to him. John recognized his own sin, and he was aware that a sinful man in need of repentance himself was unfit to baptize the spotless Lamb of God. I need to be baptized by you. And do you come to me? And Jesus replied that it should be done because it is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Next slide, please. So, where did Jesus John baptize? Well, first of all, he baptized people in the area of the Jordan River around Perea about the time of the commencement of Jesus' ministry. The Gospel of John from chapter 1, verse 28, specifies Bethany beyond the Jordan. So in other words, he did this in the Jordan River. And for the baptism of John, in the New Testament, John the Baptist preached a baptism of water, not of forgiveness, but of penance or repentance for the remission of sins, and declared himself a forerunner to one who would baptize with the Holy Spirit and with fire. In so doing, he was preparing for the way for Jesus. Next slide, please. So, why did Jesus submit to John's baptism? It's because, ladies and gentlemen, John's baptism was the baptism of repentance. So, but Jesus was sinless and has no need of repentance. So, why? Even John was taken aback at Jesus coming to him. John recognized his own sin and was aware that he, a sinful man in need of repentance himself, was unfit to baptize the spotless Lamb of God. According to this verse, it states there, I need to be baptized by you and yet you are coming to me. Allow it now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Next slide, please. So, what are the reasons why it was fitting for John to baptize Jesus? It's because first, it marks the beginning of Jesus' ministry to the public. He was publicly heralded and recognized by his forerunner, John the Baptist, 
The Voice Crying in the Wilderness, prophesied by Isaiah, calling people to be repentant in preparation for their Messiah. By baptizing Jesus, John was declaring to all that here was the one they had been waiting for, the Son of God, the one he had predicted would baptize with the Holy Spirit and fire. The Lucan description of the opening of the heavens showed that the rain of God is beginning to break into human history in the person of Jesus, the mercy and power of God about to be unleashed. Blessings of God in the person of the Holy Spirit, anointing Jesus for his earthly ministry, showing that indeed this was the Son of God. Next slide, please. His baptism symbolizes the baptism into his own death, dying with him and rising free from sin and able to walk in the newness of life. His righteousness would fulfill all the requirements of the law for sinners who could never hope to do so on their own. When John hesitated to baptize the sinless Son of God, Jesus replied that it was proper to fulfill all righteousness. By this, he alluded to the righteousness that he provides to all who come to him. Next slide, please. Sir Mark. So perhaps most importantly, the occasion of the public baptism recorded for all generations to come the perfect embodiment of the triune God revealed in glory from heaven. The testimony directly from heaven of the Father's pleasure with the Son and the descending of the Holy Spirit upon Jesus is a beautiful picture of the Trinitarian nature of God. It also depicts the work of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the salvation of those Jesus came to save. The Father loves the elect from before the foundation of the world. He sent his Son to seek and to save the lost. And the Spirit convicts of sin and draws the believer to the Father through the Son. Next slide, please. So, what does baptism mean to us, ladies and gentlemen? Well, first of all, baptism is, is signaling the start of the birth of our and the start of our lives. As we reflect on Christ's baptism, ladies and gentlemen, we are reminded of our own baptism. According to Pope Benedict XVI, it says there, baptism is communion with the one who conquered death and holds in his hand the keys of life. Belonging to this circle, to God's family, means being in communion with Christ, who is life and gives eternity love beyond death. Thanks be to God who has redeemed us from our sins and given us eternal life through Jesus Christ. So that's why baptism is very important because it marks the start of our life as well. Ladies and gentlemen, next slide, please. So, Christ's baptism remarkably shows all three persons of the Trinity at the same time. The Son being baptized, the Holy Spirit descending, and the Father speaking from the heavens. In this event, the Father and the Holy Spirit confirm the deity of Christ, and Jesus submits to his Father's will. The Church celebrates the end of the Christmas season, with the feast of the baptism of the Lord. This event is recorded in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. In John chapter 1, verse 29 to 33, rather than a direct narrative, St. John the Baptist bears witness to be the ep to the episode. So as we end our topic, the reason why we celebrate the feast of the baptism of the Lord is because... marks the end of the Christmas season and it marks the beginning of the ministry of Jesus Christ and confirms his identity as the Son of God. This event is 
documented in all Gospels except for John. His emergence from a life of seemingly obscurity into a life of growing popularity on account of his preaching, miracles, healings, and proclamation of mercy and forgiveness. So coming up next, we'll be having some announcements. We will be back after these commercials. Now this. Okay, welcome back to our editorial episode for this day. We shall now have our announcements, ladies and gentlemen. So for our announcements, guys, first, uh, next slide, please. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, we have some products for sale at the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online shop. So the products that we are selling are the following. Our One Inclusion Nation t-shirts and our One Inclusion Nation tote bags. For our One Inclusion Nation t-shirts, it's available in red, black, blue, white, and yellow. All sizes were 275 pesos. For our One Inclusion Nation tote bags, it's available in white and black. Sizes are ranged between medium to large and prices are ranged between 150 to 200 pesos. So how can you pay? Well, first of all, be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. I repeat, payment first before purchase. So, how can you do this? Payment first before purchase first. Bayad muna bago bumili. And then, the payment method that we'll be using is GCash and we will deliver your ordered products via GoGo Express and LBC as well. Next slide, please. So the Hads in Inclusion Philippines online shop is temporarily closed for areas under alert level 5, but it will continue to serve in areas under alert level 1, 2, 3, and 4 only. Its operating hours are from 11, 59, 12 midnight to 11.59 in the evening. And for a full list of orders, please visit the Hansen Inclusion Philippines Facebook page or email us at hansen.inclusion at gmail.com. Next slide, please. So ladies and gentlemen, we at Hansen Inclusion needs your help. We have already been struggling with our financial problems in our organization, to be honest. So regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. 
It will be appreciated for you guys to help Hansen Inclusion Philippines as well and to donate to Hansen Inclusion Philippines as well and also to purchase our products in our online shop. How can you do this? Scan and donate using GCash on this QR code that is flashed on your screen. And we will, you will also use this in one of our payment methods in the online shop as well. And also, this will be a great big help to us in our organization, ladies and gentlemen. So, what are you waiting for? Please, please, and please, please purchase our products from the Hansen Inclusion Philippines online shop and to donate to Hansen Inclusion Philippines as well. Please help Hansen Inclusion Philippines for its fundraising project. We're aiming to raise funds in our organization. Let us have the time to rebuild in order for us to have a bigger, better, and a bolder Hansen Inclusion Philippines. So the proceeds from the sales in the online shop and for your donations will go to us here in Hansen Inclusion, especially for its formality, its expenses, and also for the financial aid of our members due to the effects of this trying time. Next slide, please. So we have some events coming up for the month of January this year on Best Buddies Philippines. On January 15, this Saturday at 4 p.m., it will be yoga and meditation. So the host of this event will be Athena Marasigan, Willard Bile, and also we have a guest as well on our Mindful Yoga, Teacher Ia Hernandez a yoga instructor from Iya Yoga. So Teacher Iya will teach us more about the importance of centering our thoughts and strengthening our bodies through meditation and yoga as well. And then also on Wednesday, January 19, 2022, it will be our first Wellness Wednesday for this year at 3 p.m. and uh, with Coach Pepper and Be Fit on January 21st at 5 p.m. It will be Buddies Be Prepared with the Philippine Red Cross, AXA Insurance, and SM Cares. January 22 at 4 p.m. Healthy Eating with Bernice Paraiso and on January 29 at 4 p.m. Slime Time and Fruity Fun with Bea Francisco. So in order to join these events for January 15, 19, 21, 22, and 29, follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram. Send them a message and they will send you the registration form and the link as well. And then also, before we move on to our next announcement, ladies and gentlemen, also, if you have any problems with your computer or any problems with your computer or your laptop, please don't hesitate to message Sir Mark Betita for your computer repair service, which is based in Angeles City, Pampanga. Please PM Sir Mark so that he can assist you to fix your computer and your laptops as well, like formatting and and also PC laptop reformat. If you have any PC or computer problems, please don't hesitate to message Sir Mark Betita as well. Next slide, please. Okay, for our project sold out, please continue to support this because this is a joint between Hiraya Gallery, Special Achievers Philippines, Ateneo Special Education Society, Autism Strong Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, College of Rehabilitation Sciences Student Council, Hands in Inclusion, Little Hands is Go with UNICEF, Philippine Academy of Occupational Therapists, the Society of Occupational Therapy Majors, the ABLE Center, Tugon Ateneo, 
the UP Collegiate Association of Speech Pathologists, and you belong to each. So if you want to check this, please check Special Achievers Facebook page as well. Next slide, please. If you're feeling hungry and you may want to order some of the foods from the Sobra Comfort Food Restaurant and the Kuya Korea Restaurant. For the Sobra Comfort Food Restaurant, for our menus are for the all-day breakfast, Tapa Sobra, Chicken Tocino, Corned Beef Brisket, Homemade Spam, and Beef Salpicao. So sizes are ranged between solo to large and prices are ranged between 265 pesos to 1,450 pesos. Next slide, please. For our rice trays, we have beef bulgogi, beef shawarma, beef gyudon, pork crafting bits, pork belly burnt ends, charred chicken, and boneless fried chicken. Sizes are ranged between solo to large, and prices are ranged between 265 pesos to 1,700 pesos. Next slide, please. For our sandwiches, we have the fried chicken sandwich, cold pro sandwich, corned beef sandwich, and chicken tocino sandwich. Sizes are ranged between regular, large, box of course, solo, and prices are ranged between 320 pesos to 1,540 pesos. Next slide, please. For our pasta, we have mac and cheese and penne and gorgonzola. So prices are ranged between solo to large and it's between 290 pesos to 1,350 pesos. Next slide, please. How can you order? Head over to the Sobra Comfort Food website. Select the dishes you want to order. Choose between pickup or delivery. Pay conveniently to any of the safe integrated payment methods and your order is confirmed. Expect updates via text or email. Next slide, please. If you want to crave for something uh, Korean food, then you may order some of the foods from the Kuya Korea restaurant. Our menus are for the rice bowls, beef bibimbap, beef bulgogi, pork samgyup, and K-pop chicken. Prices are ranged between 195 to 220 pesos. For the chicken, the boneless popcorn chicken, Prices are ranged between half the whole and uh, 435 to 435 pesos and half and whole sizes with the flavors of gochu, ganjang, chicken, and k buffalo. So if you want to order, please check. the Kuya Korea website for your orders as well. And how to ways that you can pay there. Next slide, please. Lastly, uh, follow Hands in Inclusion Philippines on our social media pages and its digital platforms as well. It will be appreciated for you guys to do this as early as now. So follow us on Facebook, Hands in Inclusion PH. Inkloradio, Inkosports, Inkunihan, and the online shop. Instagram, Hansen Inclusion PH. Kumu, HNI Philippines. And of course, Hansen Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. So, guys, for those who did this, thank you very much as well. Next slide, please. So, for our greetings, we like for our birthday, Sarah Brandt, we like to greet happy birthday to. Christian Chan, happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come. Also, to uh, a shout out to Mary Jean, uh, Lady Jean Florese, and to the friends of Sir Mark Petita, and 
Three's GC. And also, to those who are celebrating their anniversaries, happy anniversary as well. And also, I would like to say good evening and thank you to the following. To my family, good evening. To Hands in Inclusion Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, Best Buddies Manil, and other PWD organizations, thank you very much as well. To my high school and college friends, good evening as well. And also, to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. I hope you guys are in a good mood. But if not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. To those who are watching us on Inco Radio, thank you very much as well. And if you missed this episode, it will be premiered on the next day on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. Next slide, please. As we wrap up our show, I will share you uh, a quote for the day from Reverend Father Mark Brian Adona of the Congregation of the Blessed Sacrament. The feast of the baptism of our Lord marks the end of the Christmas season. But as we end the Christmas season, this celebration of the baptism of our Lord calls us to pay attention to the important reasons why we remember this event in the life of of Jesus. The baptism which Jesus Christ received is the baptism according to the rites of St. John the Baptist, and it was a baptism through water and repentance. Jesus did not undergo baptism for the same reason as those who receive it through John the Baptist for repentance. Jesus is perfectly God, holy and blameless. Nothing at all is required of him to repent. Yet, he has to undergo the baptism of St. John the Baptist in order for, to fulfill all the requirements of righteousness. The same principle of understanding applies when Jesus Christ received his baptism to St. John the Baptist. His baptism was about a sincere expression of his humility. That even if he is entirely conscious that he is actually God, he is at the same time conscious of the fact that that he shares also with our humanity in all respects except sin. So ladies and gentlemen, the reason why we celebrate this event is because it marks the end of the Christmas season and also it marks marks the marks the beginning of the ministry of Jesus Christ as well. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, guys. Okay, so that's it. That's a wrap for our editorial show for Wednesday, January 12, 2022. I'll be back again tomorrow at the same time at 5.30 in the afternoon for the inclusive report. On behalf of Inclurajo and Hansen Inclusion Philippines, I am Carlos Miguel Kanahashi and together with me is Sir Mark Betita saying may the Almighty God bless us all pagpalain nawa tayo ng Diyos ng puong may kapal. May awa ang Diyos Makaraos po, makakaraos po tayo. Sama-sama tayong lalaban para sa pangarap, pamilya at bayan hanggang sa ating tatak para sa One Inclusion Nation. Muli, magandang gabi sa iyong lahat at pagpalain nawa tayo ng Diyos ng poong may kapal. Pilipinas, God first. H&I, God first. Thank you very much for watching Editorial and have a pleasant evening to all and bye for now. Bye-bye.
Thank you.